Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, maybe you guys, a spoiler free review of Netflix's newest movie, Tick Tick Boom. On the cusp of his 30th birthday, a promising young theater composer navigates love, friendship, and the pressure of life as an artist in New York City. Now, before we get into this review, if you guys are new in here and you do enjoy my movie reviews, trailer reactions, and all my other theory content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss any time I open a new video or I go live. But with always seeing more time, let's get right into it. So the interesting thing about Tick Tick Boom is that I have never seen a trailer for this movie, and I was surprised. I didn't think this movie would be that good, but I really like this one. I don't think it's one of the best of the year, sadly, but I still do think it's it's a really good movie. One of the biggest reasons for that is Andrew Garfield's performance. With me not seeing any footage from this movie beforehand, not even getting to hear his voice, like his singing voice or anything like that, I was truly surprised, not only at just the performance by Andrew Garfield, this might be one of his best performances in his career, by the way, but I also was just surprised by his voice. When he started to sing, my mind just could not comprehend it, to be honest. Like, it was so good. This soundtrack is gonna be on repeat. Usually, I'm not the musical type of guy. I'm more of like a La La Land, and that's basically it. But this soundtrack, this one is going on repeat because I really love this one. And I also love Andrew Garfield's voice in this movie. Overall, there were a few points in the movie though that I did find uninteresting, but that wasn't because of Andrew Garfield. It was kind of because of just the pacing of the movie and how it went in a weird direction at some points. Like it did too much flashback or it just didn't explain something enough. And then it went backwards. Like there were just a few moments that I did not find that interesting. And that's why I kind of was like dozing off and like looking away from the screen. And like, I just wasn't really paying attention because it wasn't intriguing me at all. But other than that, there's really nothing wrong with this movie in my opinion. That's just the main issue. It's also fairly short. It's like an hour 58 or hour 48 from it. It's under two hours. This movie in itself needed to be under two hours and it did that, but at the same time, there were a few moments where I just feel like they would, would have revealed a little bit more or moved it along a little faster. They could have told more of the story at the end. I wouldn't have minded a little, maybe even a little over two hours. I wouldn't have minded that because the story was interesting overall, but within itself, there were a few uninteresting parts and that's kind of where my gripes come in. But honestly, again, other than that, there's not many issues. I will say the stuff that really dragged me in was the emotional moments with Andrew Garfield's character. And it wasn't that, I mean, obviously, you know, I resonated with the character a lot as it, because that's basically what, what he's going through is engaged, he needs to physically like to the visual world that like visual wise like, there's something like this absolutely this crazy like, like there's no whatever. ridley scott so, wes anderson level visuals going on there's the the not like an absolutely insane set cool. design piece or anything like that but it's still a good emotional movie and i think the only way you'll think this movie is really really like top tier top of the year is if you're a hundred percent committed to this character and i just personally wasn't I found the ideals and emotions of this character super interesting, but overall, I just didn't really find the entire character of itself. I didn't find interest in the side characters either. It just felt like I I felt like I connected with half of the character, I guess, and that's basically it. I didn't feel any more and I didn't feel any less. The character was just there. I agreed with some values, some ideals, and overall, the movie is just a good time. It's emotional, it's fun, it's like heart-wrenching, but there's also really happy moments like the soundtrack of this movie there are a few songs though like here and there that i just wasn't the biggest fan of but like i said before i do like the soundtrack of this movie there are a few songs though like here and there that i just wasn't the biggest fan of and that's kind of what sucks about a musical like, obviously, is that like the at music random times you can just go a lot of times it's kind of to the movie basically a set piece from one end to another obviously the music can't have meaning and if you don't really enjoy the song then you're just sitting there for like three to four minutes sometimes it's an even longer song because it's a musical so they're telling the full story within the main story and so sometimes you're just sitting there like I don't song. like this song. Don't really know what's happening. So that happened maybe once or twice throughout this movie. And that's kind of where I said it drags on a little bit. Also, it drags on within flashbacks and stuff. But I will say, that's something that Eternals actually did really well, in my opinion. And this movie, again, does it good for the most part. But yeah, other than that, I don't have much to say about Tick, Tick, Boom. Overall, I'd give Netflix's Tick, Tick, Boom a solid four out of five. I think it's a pretty good movie. If you have the chance to check it out on Netflix, I really recommend it because I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's a good watch. But yeah, guys, that's for this video if you've already seen tick tick boom let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any time up a new video or i go live thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace